can never really find a good sound effect of a guy getting hit in the head with a shovel. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in our soup de jour? Shut the fuck up, you goddamn fuckhole! You piece of shit! So here's the deal. Yeah. We're ready to do this bit. We um, normally wouldn't even go through this process because we normally don't uh, give a flying out. Yeah. But uh, we're ready to do a bit, and then um, you got Stinky to thank. Stinky comes running in and goes, Dude, dude, Ron and Fez, this is what they've been doing You all can't week. talk about this. They've been doing it for two days. And we had no idea. That's... Who does Stinky work for? Nice. Yeah. Thanks. And we had no idea, so we figured we might as well just like bring you in here and tell you that we were almost... Oh, this we were going to rip you off and stuff and yeah. had no clue about it. Yeah, what's well, not a rip-off? This guy's that. We had him on the show yesterday. PsychoExGirlfriend.com? PsychoExGirlfriend. And you want to do it anyway just for fun. But, well, yeah. you know, like, this guy's name is Mark. We had him on the show. We got to get the number for you because you got to talk to him. This girl has left 50 crazy messages. I mean, just going off, freaking out. So what the guy has done is created a website about it. Nice. I and mean, he's got to be the Freaking most websites. evil for person in the world because this girl's in real pain. Mm -hmm. And if you're a bad person, you'll laugh hard at really? her pain. Yeah. This is hours of entertainment. She runs the gauntlet of emotion. <laughs> now, the weird thing is he's only had it up for like a week, and he says it's just going nuts. Right. No. Like a half a million hits already. Now, what do we do? We got four of the calls right there. Yeah. What if we play uh, play them and then after each call we like plug your show or something? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> you can plug. I don't know what to show. do because we're ready to play them. And now I'm like, oh, this okay. is like a trade agreement between the island and the I reef. Like that. Okay. You know, we, we, we're we're not our export commerce. I right. Agree. You're, so it's an export. Wait, we're I not trying to trick anyone. We know Ron and Fez discovered psychoexgirlfriend.com. Here's what I like though. Mm -hmm. And by the way, two other morning shows started today playing them. Oh really? Yeah. You guys are definitely uh, first, according the, uh, to uh, the Stinkmeister. Well, I'm going to go by Stinky. But uh, the wacky the wacky morning show started playing. Uh. There you go. There you go. They're having fun. But let's try to get the guy on, because it's going to blow up in this guy's face mm -hmm. when this girl finds out that she's becoming famous. Right, for leaving these messages. Yeah. <laughs> PsychoExGirlfriend.com. Wow. It's almost like what uh, Opie did when his girlfriend left the uh, message on the answering machine. Did you hear that story? No. Mm, really long, but left it. Well, well, well uh, Opie um, had a girlfriend, and uh, she was uh, one of those psychotic girlfriends. I think yeah. we've all had at least one psychotic girlfriend. Yeah, of course. Well, most of us, Fezzi. Some of us have been the psychotic girlfriend. <laughs> yes, she sure. broke up with you. Yeah, but she didn't want yeah. me to see anyone else. Yeah, Smart. so she was still psychopathic. So like she could bang you know everyone and, and their brother, and I I was you were supposed to be hurt. You were supposed to be hurt. I was hurt. just yeah. supposed to be hurt. So Correct. she la leaves a message on his answer. No, thirteen messages. Thirteen messages. One on after his another. Machine. She was drunk, coked up, playing with herself. The end of it. Vibrators. <laughs> Listen what I'm doing. <laughs> but then the last message. A guy's voice and her. Oh, going my ahead. God. Going and, and this was the killer because the guy was the ex-boyfriend that she swore she would never get back with. Guess what I'm dating, doing to dating, her right now. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But then well, she thought she got the oh, turnabout's fair play. L listen what Opie does. She thought she got the best of me. I, I had a radio show at the time. How stupid are you? I broadcasted uh, all the message, all 13 of them on my show in Buffalo oh, at the time. Then played it for her uh, mother. <laughs> Oh, her, her father was dead. Mother thought this girl could do no wrong. <laughs> and even better, the this eighty getting banged. The eighty one year old grandfather Oh Lord that thought she was just an angel sent from heaven. I had a piece of that chicken. <laughs> right. She was hot. Left it on both of their answer machines saying, Here's what your lovely daughter or granddaughter's doing. Ahua. Nice. What, why are the sick chicks the really twisted ones so damn hot? Mm, you're so right. They can Why be. is I mean a girl and you know what she's throwing gasoline on the side of your house mm -hmm. and you're thinking you know what I think I'm gonna bang her one more time. Just <laughs> yeah. no, one more time. That's gasoline. <laughs> because because either the fat ones or yeah. no oh, one yeah. pays attention to them. Yeah. And and if they're being know, crazy, you're just like, hey, have her arrested and taken care of. Mm -hmm. The hot ones are like, yeah, you I, sexy I, psycho. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you're like, you know what? Maybe I want to see her drink it out of a glass. Maybe that <laughs> uh, would yeah. be the thing that I'll finally feel better about myself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you got to listen to this girl, though, because you're going to dig her. Cause you got to play these things. You're into the PsychoExGirlfriend.com. Are you guys cool with this? Cause... Well, there's stuff we want to. Right. And we'll get to that. You know, we want part of your money. We were, we were so safe thinking about this because you're not RonandFez.com. 
Right. So the dot com, and this is dot com, and now we're like, oh, we're all confused. Yeah, we, we do more you. websites now than we ever did. So it's like Ron and Fez toaster oven show, you know. So we can't don't yeah. talk about toaster you ovens. Blew or something, the whole but, dot com. No, thing, we got a so. thumb and everything. So it's uh, Ron and Fez. A lot of things. Ron and Fez discovered this, and everyone's jumping on the bandwagon, including yeah. us, Anthony. That's good. Yes. Ron and Fez on before us, noon to three. Very, very nice. good show. Hey. Three, Thank yeah. you. I listen every day. Yeah, yeah you love it, huh? Unless Even they're talking about psychoexgirlfriend.com, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can we play a couple of messages? Hey, uh, oh, this is an Afro exclusive. Right. right. An, an Afro, Afro exclusive. Okay. Right. Here's, here's one. one of them. 3, Anthony. I get that same phone call, only it's costing me half of my money. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Want to hear the second one? Yeah. And how many? How many? 50. She has, like, 50 so Yeah, there's over 50. And how many are on the website? All 50? All 50. He says he's got six more. Yeah, I think he's got, yeah. He's put on 50. He's got six more he's going to add. Wow. Okay, here's another He one. should never change his number. That girl wow. is a gold mine. Gold. 12 p.m. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I just picked up on something. It's, this call is a minute... Yeah. A minute after the last one. Yeah, they're pumping in. Here's the first call. 909. 909. 3rd, 9, 12 p.m. Here's that. Three minutes later. I'm checking your messages. I can tell. <laughs> right now, 10 after 9. And just now you've tortured me all day and night. You better call me back, Mark. Mark. You better call me back. If you want any chance of ever working this out with me, I swear to God. I've done every thing that uh, I can possibly do. Uh-oh. Oh, no. So are you happy? Uh, are you happy? Static. But you just go out there and booze it up on your own. Booze okay? it up. If I came over to see you and you done it, you denied seeing me again. Again. And I was even coming over to you after apologizing to you. After doing all those things, saying all those things on the phone to you that mean absolutely fucking nothing. Oh. So I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy being a lonely guy. I'm sure he is. Oh, but wait. I know you got a lot of dates, so maybe you won't be that lonely. Oh. Well, you know what? I've done everything I fucking can. You want to be with me, yeah? Great. Yeah, you really want to be with me. Oh, Thanks man. Thanks for showing me. Wow, this is freaking me out. Oh, this, is oh, this is too that, real. You're right. This is the greatest thing ever. It's a it's a horror movie. Uh, Anthony, Ron and Fez, they're on uh, noon to three. Wow. Yeah. Right before the O&A show. We love Ron and Fez. They discovered this, psychogirlfriend.com. Psychoexgirlfriend.com? Psycho yeah, psychoexgirlfriend.com. And the guy, because you guys interviewed him, he has yeah. no desire to ever get back together with this girl. I and mean, why did they break up? Because he's, uh, and he says she's really hot, too. But uh, now he's thinking, can I make money off this? That's where his head's at. Yeah. I'm like, uh, they're going to come after you. The, the really final insult. You. So that's the final insult. Great. Now you're making money off of me. <laughs> I hope you're happy. I hope you're spending it on your horse. <laughs> and you know that when you get home and you're listening to that, you're like, she's nuts, but she does care. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And you think back to that last Hummer. Yeah, <laughs> right. Because a girl like that is going to be insane in bed. The range of emotion is fabulous. Julia Roberts didn't have it, and Aaron Brockovich. How? That's it. I'm done with you. Call me. Call me. I got it. Call me. Everyone's checking in, going, turn it off, bringing back too many memories. I, I everyone's, everyone's had. had everyone's had these. Uh, we got. Uh, we got a, a couple more here. Nine fifteen. Three minutes. Oh, we bleep it. Hold on. 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 Hold on
Hold on. See, there's the exclusive that we yeah. do. We leave right. the F word in. Whoa. See, we're on your Ron and Fez show. You don't bleep out the curses. Yeah. We leave it in, so we give it our own spin. That's why you should hear these phone calls on the Opie and Anthony show, because we leave it all in. Yeah. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> Who's supposed to do that? Rick, right? Yeah, Rick's getting good one, Rick. Uh, Rick is. Uh... I can see where you would miss that. It was practically whispered. <laughs> wow. Wow. wow, that was she a background F. <laughs> really, Ron and Fez, they're on uh, before us, Anthony, at noon to three. Yes, Monday through Friday, doing a great job. Ernie was wondering if uh, promotions is really going to get together now with this uh, Afro concept and make Afro picks with oh, our logo. Oh, I love it, man. Yeah, Afro picks. Since they've just put wow on about everything. Are we yeah, sure. <laughs> Are we ready now? Yeah. Here's the third call. 9.15 p.m. All I can say is, if you're out at the bar, when I went to your house, drove by you, you saw me, and you just drove by me. Oh, no. And I called you to apologize. For passing? Telling you how much I meant to you. I'll be calling you in three minutes. Right, right. Sure. <laughs> I, I can't call you. Your line's busy. You think the world's going to chase you? Well, I know one. <laughs> Passing each other. You don't even give them a chance to call back. Uh, and where's this effing bar? I'd yeah. love to go to that place. The effing bar, yeah. yeah. Effing bar. He's at the effing bar. Effing bar rocks. Yeah. Passed by me, and I, I wanted to apologize. <laughs> what? Passing by? Hey, Anthony, did I say that uh, Ron and Fez are on before us, noon to three? Noon, noon to, three. to three. Every day, uh, Monday through Friday, they discovered uh, PsychoXGirlfriend.com. Yes, and we were going to uh, talk about it today, and we figured, hell, let's give credit where that's credit's nice, due. That's nice, guys. You know? That's very professional. And Ronnie, yeah. check out the cross promotion after we play the fourth one. Oh, yeah. You are going to love this. Oh, oh, oh. My programming mind is uh, taking yeah. over here. Just watch after this fourth call. Go ahead, uh, Rick. One more from PsychoXGirlfriend.com, discovered by Ron and Fez. 9, 29 p.m. Quality one. <laughs> Not only have you ruined my day, but you've ruined my night <clears throat> because I'm too upset to even think about going out to have fun. Fun? I want to be with you, and I want to be with someone who doesn't want to be with me. So, yeah, that would be a real good time out tonight, huh? Anyway, I know that i got to move on, and I'm going to, and mark my words, if I don't hear from you shortly, I'm moving on. I'm not going to play this game tomorrow. And I know I keep saying that. I know I keep calling you back. But it's draining, Mark. And I'm tired of it. And I've chased after you once again all day and all night. So you know what? Have fun with your stubbornness. And you know what? I hope the next woman that you date, or girl, maybe I should say, What's up with your stubbornness? Because I can't deal with it. I've given you everything. i said to you every possible thing that I could say. I basically came calling back. Even though, you know what? It's not only my fault. It's us. <laughs> and uh, oh you know what? God. You continue to f***ing torture me. And uh, I just hope that you're really having a good time. And I know you're probably not. So, whatever. I hope you got what you wanted from all this. Because uh, it's just f***ing <laughs> sad. So, uh, yes, it is. I'm moving on. I'm going to bed, and I am certainly moving on tomorrow morning. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, now, there's like 46 more of these. Yeah. There's Call you tomorrow. <laughs> and when you get on the site, it's so addicting. <laughs> you just have I, to listen yeah, to everyone. I think I've been through it twice now. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Anthony Ronafez discovered PsychoXGirlfriend.com. They're yes. on before us, noon to three. Yes. Um, we're only going to play those four. If you want to hear more of these phone oh. calls. Oh, my God. Oh, 
Oh my God, Opie! Right now, Jeremy is spanking a batch out on his right. desk. Shouldn't I be the one programming this station? Yeah, you really should be. Is that a brilliant program? Maybe that's. The, oh my God. Maybe that's the part of so it. You're, you're sitting there going, "These son of a bitches! No. They just took our thunder." But oh no, I threw it right back. Yeah, if sure. you had programming ammo like that, we'd still have uh, Mason and Kalinsky here. I think. <laughs> I think that could have gotten some juice. Uh, Bron and Fez will be playing many more of these tomorrow during their show from noon to three. I think that's all they're going to do tomorrow. That's all we'll do. Hey, uh, <laughs> you'll hear the one where she goes to the hospital. Oh, oh no. no! Are you serious? Yeah, you got to hear that one. Where she's ready you to can't leave hospital. us with a piece like that. <laughs> God, the hospital. Yeah, well, apparently just... something has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> and she's leaving oh, for the God. hospital. It's like a soap opera. I'm jonesing for and it. You know whose fault it is, right? Uh, it's Mark's fault. Oh, of yes, course it's because... Mark's fault, that scumbag. I hope he's happy. Yeah. I hope he's happy you indeed. You son of a bitch. You've done it. You've done uh, it. <laughs> Fez just trumped me. God That's damn, a better team than what I had. You know we're pals, and we're going to have to hear it during commercials, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we can play it anytime Please you want. play it. It's priceless. No, we'll, we'll let <laughs> no. you guys uh, play that one again tomorrow, okay? They went, they went and hooked Mark up if you want to talk to him. He's on the All line. right, Mark is the guy that started this website. Yeah. And you'll be hearing about 40 more of these calls tomorrow on the Ron and Fez Show, noon to 3. Uh, Mark. Hey, guys. What's going on? Hey, we're in the studio with Ron and Fez, who you've already talked to. Hey, Mike. Yeah, you guys, you guys are great. What's, uh, what's going on, guys? I, I told you this. You're going to be huge in New York City. You're going to be huge around the world because everybody has been through this, Mark. Well, I tell you what. The funny thing is, is we are uh, we're getting requests from everybody to do uh, interviews. I mean, German TV and... Uh, you know, uh, you know, Ron and Fez were broadcasting in Germany. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. syndicated yeah. into Germany, too. How'd, how'd you work out that deal, Ron? We ran out of cities in the U.S. <laughs> that's best foot fun. We will you, take over the world. Best foot yeah, fun. The walk for the SS of radio. So, uh, so is this girl still calling you, Mark? Nah, she's not calling me anymore. Uh, oh. It's been it's been over quite some time. How, how long? Well, we're, 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 about three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. What's she look like? Uh, I, I can't get into it without legal getting all over me, but uh, she's she's hot. She's tall and blonde, very very hot. Blonde, it's, nice boobs. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They're, they're a little bit, she ran about three miles a day, so you're not going to get you know. Chasing great. you, obviously. No, she's <laughs> Jeez. Great, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ran three miles a day with a knife in her yeah. hand. Mark, a quarter mile track I, around I, his house. I tell you what, somebody asked me, said, "Are you afraid?" And I said. I said, yeah, she's in all sorts of shape, and you know, I'm just your typical Joe beard drinking American slob. So. Now, why, why, what are you? Why are you so evil and so bad? And and why, why are you? Um, what was the word she used? Because he's a guy. And he was being stubborn. Mark, you're stubborn. Yeah, well, no, I just don't put up with people's crap. I mean, well, that's, that's kind of the bottom line. We're kind of hearing her side how you don't care, and the, uh, we're hearing her side. What's your side of this whole thing? What was going on when uh, when you were breaking up and she was making these calls? What was going on? We, well, we were uh, fighting actually, and uh, the whole deal about that was that she would be really cruel and really mean and really insensitive and, and, and break out into stuff that she knew would be pushing my buttons, and I wasn't going to deal with it. So, uh, you know, I just what planet take are you call. going to to find a different girl? <laughs> she what? You ain't going to find one that doesn't do that on Earth. <laughs> yeah, I, t I tell you what, good luck. Huh? Good did luck. She, did she do anything physical to you? You know, only one time. Uh, we were, uh, it, was, it was January down here, and it was iced up. And uh, I, I, of course, had pissed her off, and she was yanking me around by my scarf. And uh, that's when she fell. That's when she said she couldn't walk for two, uh, walk for two weeks. She slipped, on, she slipped on ice and fell when she was yanking me by my scarf. So. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember a couple girls slipped on the scarf when I was with them, too. <laughs> <laughs> she was pulling my scarf and she slipped, I swear. Hey, hey, hey officer. She I'm had the back of my too. hand. I was trying to catch her. She <laughs> <laughs> got the back of my hand on her front tooth. <laughs> Uh, but now she knows. You get, now you she knows. Horrible, hell, I, hell, I told her three times. <laughs> <laughs> she kept falling and falling. Right and on flying my hand. all over the place. <laughs> yeah. You checked her into the boards, didn't you, Mark? Uh, I tell you what, I'd like to put her in the boards sometimes, but uh, you mm -hmm. can't. You can't do that kind of stuff to him. You can only put him on the Internet, I guess. Now, Mark, when, when she was making these calls, uh, in your mind, this was over, right? Pretty much. I mean, I pretty much pretty decided much. that. Pretty much. On. See, but yeah, now I mean, you say pretty much that almost gives me this image that she did have a little bit of hope. Well, yeah. <laughs> you're you know, getting back. Guess, you invite I, her I, in for that that Hummer, huh? That last one. That last, uh... No, no I mean, you know how it is when... Breakup sex. Please breakup sex. Any, se any sexual contact uh, after she started making these calls? No, no. no. 
Well, that would have been a wild ass ride. No kidding. <laughs> um, can we play one more? I'm yeah, Jones. Go ahead, I'm yeah. Jones. In. Yeah, you can play them all. No, no, no. no. This is no. our promotional <laughs> leverage for you guys. One hand washes the other. You know, all right. we must all be allowed to wet our beak. <laughs> <laughs> Ron and Fez uh, discovered PsychoXGirlfriend.com from the New York area, anyway. Ron and Fez, who hold all no, these clips in their area. pockets like, like so many nickels and dimes. <laughs> I can't believe that domain name wasn't already taken. <laughs> yeah, That's really. True. All right, we got one more. I went to OpiesXGirlfriend.com. We can start that tomorrow. <laughs> Make our own money. I do have the, the calls from my uh, ex. Oh, I well, you, now you got to bring those. I, I'm, I'm, I'm searching through boxes of radio stuff. I will yeah. find it, though. All right, guys. Right, put them on MP3s. We'll put them on the website for you guys. All right, hold on, Mark. I want to hear one more here. All right. February 7th, 10, 19 p.m. You know, you're making me go out of my mind. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I can't handle this like you can. <laughs> Begging you as a human being to please call me back. Oh, oh. Mark, you must be. Mark, Mark, you must be really good in bed. (laughs) You must be hung like a horse or something. I got no place else to go. You guys, you guys need to keep spreading that rumor. I'm off of that. So you know what? The begging would have got to me. I'm like, yeah, maybe you crawl over. (laughs) If you crawl over backwards. I'll give you one last one. Yeah, Mark, you got something special going on. I don't know. I don't know what, what your technique is. But. Yeah, he said it. I, I, I tell you, keep, spread, keep, spreading that, uh, keep spreading that mystery and that rumor, and I'll, I'll see you guys in New York in a couple of weeks, all right? Well, well, on the Ron and Fez show. Yeah, we, exactly. If not, we'll see you in hell first, all right, my friend? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm on the express train to hell, pal, so. <laughs> all right, Mark, thank you. Hey, you bet, guys. Cool. Thanks. There he is, Mark God. from <laughs> PsychoXGirlfriend.com. Praise God. Uh, Please. Please call me. Please go. Oh God, that's heartless. You can cringe and laugh at the same time. Yes. yes. And feel bad and feel ecstatic. Yeah. Uh, Jay, what's up? Dude, you guys are making me feel so guilty for the things that I've done as a younger man. Yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna call her back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got I got goosebumps listening. Dude, it's scary, time. man. Yeah. It, it reminds you of like the times when you just like, hey, shut up, whatever. And she's like, stop it. I love you, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, I think she really did. Yeah, I think she was, she's, she's nuts, man. Oh, I'd fear, I'd run from a woman like that. It was kind of a turn on, though. Yeah, it was. I was like, uh, I'm, I'm thinking uh, we yeah. should try to find the number. Yeah, but not when you're, not when you're the one involved in it. Yeah. You know, when, when you're just listening to it on the radio, and you're like, yeah, that's pretty hot. She right. dug him, you know. But now it's like, if you were the one having your phone call, you're like, dude, I got to change my number. Yeah. It's over, Johnny. All right. Johnny, All right, boys. Thank thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> and Rob, what's up? It's funny because it's not me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Who wants to deal with that? I mean, and, and just from the calls of the breakup there, you can tell what it was like when she probably got pissed off. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's the same thing. Somewhere. They're all red flags all over. You want to go out to the bar or something? Forget about it. The F bar, right? He was going to the F bar. Right. Yeah. The she's, bar. Not, she's not just calling. She's following. Right. Yeah. She knew his every move. Yeah. One of the times she got really mad because she found out he went fishing or something with his friends. Oh, God. I, 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 this is like a good soap opera, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. You're going to be playing some of these tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Noon to three. Noon to three. Right. Will, you, will you play them right at noon, or or you, or you, you, you know you're going to have a huge O&A uh, audience O&A, at, yeah. at noon, so are you going to tease it and then play it around 12.45? I'm going to tease it to quarter to three. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> call in, say O&A said to call. Right. You'll have me. Hey, if we look up at a, and there's a full board of, I never listened to your show before, <laughs> <I> know, <laughs> a big O&A fan, then we'll do it. <laughs> Well, I want to thank Ron and Fez. Thank you, guys. For being good sports. They are on uh, before us, noon to three, and yes. they will be playing a lot more of these calls tomorrow on their show. I mean, the, the tease about going to the hospital and it's Mark's fault. I mean, yeah, it's sexy. Where are you going to be tomorrow at noon? I hope Mark's happy.
<laughs> yeah, uh, yes. I don't Because we Please are. Call me. Cause we are. Right. Please call me. Please call me. It's made up of static. That should, that should actually be our problem. Please listen. <laughs> oh, you listen to what they are, you? No time for us. Listen. Yes. Crying <laughs> phone call. I hate you. I love you. Please call. I hope you're happy with your stubbornness. Just listen to know what they All right. All right, if you don't want to listen, fine. I'll move on. I'll move on. We have our listeners. But, you know, I really want you as a listener, and, and you enjoy yourself. The show's funny. Why did... Okay, I'm not going to change you. I won't change you. Please listen to our show. Please listen. Please. Look, you got the first one, Adam. Yeah. Adam, what's up? Adam. Yes. What's up, buddy? Yo, listen, I promise I'll listen to Ron and Fence tomorrow if you play the rest of those tonight. No. <laughs> <laughs> you want to to front it to him. We don't want you. Only the first one's free, honey. Yeah. <laughs> you want them to front. You want the front. You don't front. Well, gonna happen. They gave us five, and they got 45 more to go tomorrow on their show. All right, man. Uh, sounds good. All right, Adam. Like drugs in the schoolyard. Sure. You got to give them the first one for free. Right. Give them a little taste. But then they come back, and you, now they're going to have to uh, listen to Ron and Fence. Now it's a new show. Right. Now it's a whole different story. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Thank Thanks, you, guys. A little Afro show wow. for you. We like the Afro Anthony show. Anthony Fez, Ron, and Opie. And we heard the Russell Crowe. It was excellent. Yeah. Oh, nice yeah. work. Pretty well, good. I was a lot more open than any of the uh, interviews I've heard him on before. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't know that he was going to be with the uh, Black Crows from now on. So <laughs> that works yeah. out nice. Very nice. Ron and Fez on noon to three, Monday through Friday. All right. Uh, Carrick, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Guys, I've got friggin' chills, man. That was... Those phone calls, that was my life in June of 93. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, the psycho ex girlfriend thing, huh? Oh, my God, man. She was nuts. You know what she did? She locked herself in the car in my driveway, wouldn't get out, and then she takes out a bottle of, uh, of uh, Vicodins and swallows them. Oh. And wouldn't let me in the goddamn car. Nice. She's nuts, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, that, that hit uh, too close to home, that, that website. Oh, man. Ron and Fez oh, will be... Work. And, um, don't worry, I didn't almost drive off the uh, yeah, know, Washington know. Bridge or fall off my weight bench or anything like that. Hey, are you um are you going to be listening to Ron and Fez for more of those calls tomorrow? I'll, I'll tell you what, man, I'm going to try my hardest. That's hard to listen to during work hours, but uh, I'm going to really try. Man, you can't get those for yourselves? Uh, no, it's their thing. That's why we had to bring them in and uh, make sure yeah. they were cool with it. Yeah, but those guys are cool about it, aren't they? Well, they, they allowed us to play five. I mean, they'll play more tomorrow on their show. All right, good enough. Thanks, fellas. All right, man. Take it easy. Bye. Let's go to Mike. Mike, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? All right. What happened? The guy that played Eddie Haskell wasn't available? You got purple? Uh, that would have been funny if your phone didn't suck. Uh, he was talking about uh, what? I don't know. Eddie I Haskell. guess a guest, yeah. Uh, Rocky, what's up? Hey, guys, what's happening? O and A in the house. Hey. Oh, dude, man, I'm telling you, my junk just went limp here in that crap. Oh, my God, man. She, guys. I mean, I feel kind of bad for the girl, man. Wow. Well, I mean, just a little bit because, I mean, apparently this guy was like uh, like a Prince Charming to her. Well, uh, you know, I guess he had enough. Yeah. Well, I want to tell you one thing, man. You know, since, you know, um, he's a Mark, I got a good name for him. Body Bag Mark. What do you think? Okay, you're uh, not paying attention to me. <laughs> Why do you guys do this? I just want to be on the radio, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, keep on rocking. You guys suck. I love that. That is so uncomfortable. That little uncomfortable. He goes. Uh oh, they haven't hung out for anything. Victor, what's up? Hey, how you doing, guys? I got the perfect tape from the other day, uh, from Monday night with my girl. Uh, she curses a couple of times, and you might have to screen it out, but you got to hear this thing. Um, how are we going to do this? I guess just bleep it. She only curses like once or twice at the end, but you got to hear this thing. It's unbelievable. All right, let's hear it. Um, see if you could play the fader up. All right, I'll see if we can do it. Anticipate the F word. Pull it down. Uh, right. Just keep in mind, this girl looks like Pamela Anderson. That's what everybody tells us. She's a 10. All right, let's go, Victor. All right, here we go. Ready? Here. Yeah. 
I guess I see what you do uh, when when things go wrong. So you fucking have a good time and you go Victor, leave me alone. All right, boy, Victor, 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 Victor. Well, that was it. You ain't going to get much of the air. Wait, wait, Victor. Hold on. Victor, we're going to try it again. Oh, you want me to rewind it and wait. let the guy screen it? Wait, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to remember where the curses came. It wasn't the first one that you thought. I know. What was the what was what was the the, the, the couple words before she cursed? Um, she's I don't, I don't know. I, you, you want me to, you want to give me to Rick or something, and I'll have him screen it through so you can play it like that. Wow, God, you're like radio savvy. Do right? that. Hold on, Victor. Cool. Right. That's pretty good. She starts babbling at the end. All right, Victor I just got a good <laughs> message from a psycho girlfriend. Let's go to Bob. Bob, what's going on? Oh, and hey, hey, don't tell me it isn't so that you guys are going to mornings. Oh, please, don't. We all in the warehouse. We start around 3 o'clock getting ready for you. You can't do this. Hey, Bob. Yeah. Bob, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hello? Hello? Hey. Can't hey. Hear. Hello? Can't hear, Bob. Hello? Uh, oh, and hey. Can you, Hello? Get, can you get Pete in here? We're having problems with the phones again. I can't hear Bob on, on line uh, hmm. 9. Hmm. Bob? Yep, you hear? Bob. Bob, what do yep. you got for the show, Bob? Don't tell me you're going out mornings. Those guys are going to mornings. We're going to die in mornings with them. Hello, Bob. Hello. Bob? Yep. And oh, we lost him. Yeah. He said something. He, he had an important question to say. I don't know. Something, uh, I barely heard it. All right. Well, thanks for that. I have no idea. That was a mess right there, right? Let's go to, uh, Mike. Mike, you're next on NEW. What's up, Mike? Hey, how you doing, guys? Good. Love your show. I'm a cop in Brooklyn, and uh, I was dating a girl in my command a few years ago. And I was engaged to someone else at the time, uh -huh. and I broke and I broke it off with the uh, with the cop, and it wasn't too good. She she finagled her way at my wedding with one of the guys I invited for my precinct, and she got me in the back of the wedding hall. She pulled a gun on me, had me as, as a hostage for about ten minutes. You're lying. Wow. Come on. Oh no, this is true, man. This is true. Mike, how could you prove that that's that's real? How can I prove it's real? She, well, I, she was a police woman. incriminating anyone, I can't. She was a police woman? Yeah. And you broke off with her, and then at the wedding she had you in the back, and she put a gun to you. Telling me for about ten minutes how she couldn't live without me, and, you know, she's not going to let me get married, and it was crazy. It, was, I'm, it, it crazy. got involved with, what's that? So how did, this, how did it uh, end up? I finally had to grab her, and a couple of guys that I worked with came in the room, and we more or less shuffled her out. She was drunk. and Oh, and you just let her go? Well, we squashed the whole thing. We could have got. We all could have got a lot of trouble. Why would you get in trouble? Well, because my wife would have found out, and you know, wouldn't have been too good. All right, I don't know if I buy, I'm buying it, but and if she's listening to this right now, she probably is finding out. But she doesn't listen to you guys, so I'm pretty safe. All right, thank you, bud. All right, guys, love the show. Thank you. We're trying to get the Victor's message on the yeah on the show here. Dylan, what's up? What's going on, boys? Hey, I got a pretty good uh, psycho girlfriend story. No guns though. Okay. All right, so I'm sitting around in my apartment one day with my uh, roommate, and I got the same thing. My girlfriend's calling. Why won't you call me? Why won't you call me? All this time. And, uh... <laughs> God, nice to wait. Everyone was waiting for it, though. Go ahead, Dylan. All right, so, uh... Dylan! <laughs> she, finally called, she finally called again. She's like, I'm coming over. And I'm like, whatever. Me and my roommate are sitting there. Ten minutes later, she's banging on the door. Open the door. I know you're in there. Open the door. So me and my roommate are just sitting there laughing, dying. She's there for like ten minutes. Goes away. We're like, all right, finally, we're safe. Five minutes later, the door flies open. She went down to the door, man, got the keys, came up, threw the keys in my face, gave me a bloody lip. Me and my roommate are just sitting there on the couch like, what the hell is going on? Man. Oh, yeah. oh. I think everyone has a psycho girlfriend story. Awful. All right, thank you, buddy. All right, boys, let us ride. Yeah. That's funny because it's true. <laughs> well, we got uh, Victor's uh, ex-girlfriend's phone message. We'll oh, clean it up for the radio. It's pretty good, Anthony. Yeah. Want to hear it real fast? Yeah, let's hear. Victor's ex-girlfriend. Yeah, hi, it's me. Um, I guess I see what you do uh, when when things go wrong. So you can have a good time and you go whatever, Victor. Victor, I swear to God make me 
Okay, terrific. Okay. <laughs> now that was funny. Coming up next on Opie and Anthony, Jim Norton sings. Forget me not, you sightless taunt. Your dog just shit on my rug. Thought that was pretty fucking funny, didn't you? How's that for a sketch? The Opie and Anthony Show. We don't do sketches, stupid. I was walking down the street, and some construction guy was shouting at me. Hey, show me your cans. So I did. And he plummeted 17 floors and was impaled on a forklift. But my tits looked great. Please, wow responsibly. A public service announcement of the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the O&A virus. <laughs>